Hi guys, I'm Jerusha. You're watching Jerusha Couture TV. This ColourPop matte liquid lip is not the Jerusha. Trust me. It has just taken me so long to get this lip on with a lip liner, without a lip liner. It came off, it came on. I'm surprised they even have any lips left. This was not fun. However, I will tell you this is Tool from um, Colourpop's Ultra Matte Liquid Lip before I get asked because it is pretty rare that I wear a dark plum lip like this but I thought for the topic of this video which is a what's in my bag featuring my first ever luxury handbag my Boston Gucci Boston Sulky Bag which has kind of got, you know, the browns. I'm wearing my khaki t-shirt from Zara. So I thought, you know, with the moody kind of dark lip, uh, are we feeling it? Well, I am gonna go ahead and do a what's in my bag on this handbag. I have said many times in all different videos, I suppose, telling you it was my first ever luxury purchase of a handbag. I got it from Hong Kong, down in Chimsa Choi on Canton Road, Gucci there. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal boutique. And it was a big purchase at the time. The bag was, I think, $1,200, which was a big purchase. And I was very nervous. However, I love it. I traveled all around the rest of my trip around the world using this. And it's very versatile over the shoulder. And it has this long shoulder or kind of short crossbody strap. I will say the layout leaves a lot to be desired, how the way it is, because it's such a smooshy satchel kind of bag, the way it just flops like this, um, which I'll show you in a sec when I open it. I haven't been using it. At the beginning of last week, I, uh, oh no, sorry, about, yeah, the beginning of last week, beginning of the week that's just gone. So Monday I picked it up after I filmed. I thought I'm gonna use this. I'm after a smushy black bag. Let's just use this and see how we go. And something magical happened, which I said on Insta stories. Like I just really enjoyed using it. Like really enjoyed using it. I love the colors. They go with anything obviously, cause they're browns. This is, this was a limited dish edition Boston bag because it's in the caramel handles. Usually the most popular color in this bag is a white. I will try and find this bag. It's not on the Gucci website anymore because it's obviously a discontinued style. I will try and find it, but the white usually was the most popular or the dark chocolate, but this is the caramel and it was just so beautiful and gorgeous so here is the gorgeous details of the leather up close it's got a double zipper pull with leather tabs everything is engraved with gucci this is uh, back in the day when gucci engraved every single hardware with gucci you have the two rolled shoulder straps and then you have this uh flat um, leather crossbody or shoulder strap. You have the little charm which hangs off the side on um, a ball bearing, ball bearing chain like that on a D ring, which is really cute. You can put other charms, and it's just one big kind of, I say, moon shaped sort of bag like that. Very similar to like the Tivoli, that sort of shape. And then you have little pulls on the side. They also have Gucci engraved in them. It's just gorgeous details. So let's go ahead and do, oh, and this strap is detachable with little clasps there, which is a nice touch so you can take it off all together. So let's go ahead and show you what is in this bag. I always like to sort of show the bag and what I'm pulling out of it. So it is the double zip closure. I will say this is what is a little bit tricky because it is like a massive frog mouth. So you have to sort of maybe leave one zipper like that and maneuver just one of the zippers like so to get your items nice and easy, especially when it's on your shoulder. But when it both opened, see, it's like this massive frog mouth. So the organization inside is completely jumbled and you can't even keep a bag organizer in here because 
you know that's the shape of the bag it's not structured so this is what I was trying to tell you the other day when I was um, explaining <laughs> getting anxiety when I didn't have little pouches my bag was similar to this there are pouches in this bag but I will just show you this is completely full from today this is everything that was in here but it's just an absolute mess there is one um, zipper compartment in this bag and I would keep my key in there or my keys or my phone so I can quickly access it. But it's just a mess. Like, it gives me hives when my bag's this much of a mess. So anyway, these are my Gucci's that I am rocking. My Gucci Sunnies in their beautiful case. And I am wearing my large square gradient lens Gucci sunnies with the stars and GG logos let's put those on bam we gotta show the sunnies off almost every video I have a Kleenex hand sanitizer packet which is almost empty so then I have my second one which is the Dettol hand sanitizer wipes which are great and when my kid is in the playground I always have to have heaps of these I have a receipt from Harvey Norman, Harvey Norman Electronics. I have my heavyweight uh, resistance bands. Uh, if you watched my Insta stories, I was telling you on Insta story that I've been working out with resistance bands. And here's my my light of oh, my medium one. Sorry, so they're really great. You look up on YouTube, lots of resistance band tutorials and they tell you oh here's my light one that's right <laughs> sorry I had these in my bag because I was going to the park with um, Mussy and I just did some resistance band on the ground while he played I have this cool hand sanitizer Santos spray hand sanitizer and I think I got this on the plane yeah I think I got this on the plane on the way home from uh, California and it smells so nice kills 99% of germs stay stays on skin antibacterial spray I really like a spray my phone and my Louis Vuitton reverse monogram eye trunk uh, case is back on which was a gift from gorgeous Sarah from fashion file so this is my iPhone 7 plus with the beautiful case on it it is so gorgeous just not toddler friendly at all especially when they just dump your phone on the floor this is one of Mussy's bibs I have it in my bag god knows why first class snacker that's my little boy I have a couple of bobby pins down in the bottom here and then I have my little compartments so this is my Louis Vuitton toiletry 15 it is quite stuffed at the moment and in here I just have my Tom Ford lipstick and this is the uh, Sable Smoke. I'm really, really enjoying this lipstick. If you guys are looking for a beautiful nude, like a, just a go-to nude, but really creamy, this is it. Then I have my uh, Apple earbuds. I don't have wireless because I looked at them the other day when I was in the Mac store and they're $230 and I was like what <laughs> what is this what everyone's been raving about can you let me know if I'm wrong but $230 I was like what that's crazy I have the change uh, over adapter I have my double-sided Chanel facets mirror this is so handy super slim I've talked about it before on my channel I have some headache tablets I have business cards and I have ladies products down in there that is all that's inside that 2315 then I just have you can see what happens to this bag everything swims at the bottom like it's so smooshy and everything just swims at the bottom so in the bottom I have my six key with the fuchsia lining down inside there gorgeous piece I have my key on my monogram dragon for my car some a subby asked me why I keep them separate and I keep them separate because this automatically opens my car it's keyless so and it's keyless start so I don't really need them together it, the fob doesn't fit inside so it kind of squishes it 
and I don't know I separated them one day and I've kind of never gone back and when I have to give the car to my husband or something I just I don't know it's just worked out that way on the bottom is my new Louis Vuitton card holder I am really enjoying this piece and it kind of smells like the original Louis Vuitton smell not gonna lie kind of has it so it just has points cards in there and some gift cards and then I have a random lid to a spray another bobby pin in the actual pocket here I don't have anything I would have my phone and then the last item swimming around in the bottom there is my wallet this is my zippy compact wallet in Damier bin from Louis Vuitton best wallet ever let's take some cards out best wallet ever it is my one wallet tag it is just a go-to wallet for me it holds 10 cards it's a no-brainer and just yeah I've got such wear out of this wallet it's crazy so there we go that is the Boston bag empty and you can just see now just the size of this mouth of this bag so when you are carrying it it's not, you know, that handy to get in and out. It like flops open. But as I said, if you just maneuver one zipper so that you can get in and out of a smaller section, it's a lot easier that way. Okay, guys, that brings me to the end of my what's in my bag with my Gucci Boston sulky bag. I'm sorry to do it on a bag that's discontinued. Uh, that you can't really get except for pre-loved. I will try and find it off the resale market for you guys. I will link that in the bottom bar below. I always link everything I can link to find to purchase. I link below in the info bar where you hit more, see more. It's kind of a bit confusing. Someone said, where is the info box? I don't know. Uh, it's always below us when we're sitting here on the screen see more is below so if you enjoyed that please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so guys that would be so great i will see you in my next video take care peace